like the right way. So, everybody's all messed up in the mind. And they seem to be doing this to our kids, to, um, you know, if you, if you want to keep some sort of control over a society, you know, having dumb people believe a bunch of foolishness is the way to go. And mostly it seems like everybody's like a mental health patient now. Whereas like six years ago, it didn't really seem to be this bad, but in the past three years, oh, real bad, real bad. And, you know, to some degree, you know, this is the way it's always been. There's always been in societies an effort to try to control the people, you know, because you, you definitely need to be able to, do, to move your people around and get them to do things once you're at the national level. You know, if you have a country and you have people that make up your army, you know, they have to kind of believe in what they're doing. But everything now is just so jacked up and ridiculous. And, you know, I, I believe in, I believe in freedom. I believe that people make the best choices for themselves when they're free to make those choices and they don't need to be um, controlled and um, led to think things that just are ridiculous, you know. And a lot of this stuff that they're teaching the kids to believe is ridiculous. You couldn't have kids um, harm somebody and be charged as an adult, but you want them to be able to uh, cut off their genitals and do weird stuff like that. You know, and most of them, you know, kids that are little kids, they're not, they're not into sex yet. We all know that. But, you know, with our society, and we only have these two parties that are worth the shit, and they're not worth the shit anymore. They've not... It hasn't done us very well, and it's pretty much now at the end place where it's leading to our downfall as a country and a society, but, you know, what can you do about it? What you can do about it is um, just sort of be aware. Don't fall for the trap of saying the wrong word, or and don't let anybody tell you you're racist if you're not. You know, if you're racist, then you're racist. But if you're not racist, don't let anyone tell you that you are. And don't believe that. Because that's ridiculous. You don't want to, you don't want to be put in some sort of box that doesn't fit you and that you're not. Why would you? Why would you want to do that? And don't do that to other people. Don't put labels on them. You know, people are very complex and, um, they have a lot of different facets to them. And you can't just put people under a category and be done with it. People live, believe things, they change their minds, they get ideas, they drop those ideas. You know, so that's just the world that we live in. But the next year is going to be completely freaking wild because you're going to see all these things probably happen because of, you know, the damn presidential race. And the president, I don't think, that guy's like, I don't know how many of them there are. I know I've looked at Biden and seen, there's a Biden with the loose earlobe and there's the Biden with the connected earlobe. You know, no one, I've ever never seen anyone that has a connected and a loose earlobe on their, on their head at the same time, because that's not the way 
it's just not that maybe if there was an injury or something like that. There's just a bunch of ridiculousness. And um, I know that the people that have that fear Donald Trump or whatever, you know, when you listen to the stuff that they say on the on the news, like that Rachel Maddow was saying, he's gonna kill me. He's not gonna kill you. They're not gonna kill you. He doesn't want to run the whole damn president. You know, every single thing. But they do want to turn the drilling back on for oil. And they do want to shut the border. That border being open is a bad idea. These are all political issues. You know? And a political argument, discussion, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's the worst type of uh, engagement you can be in. Nobody wants to be bothered with stuff like that. We're supposed to be living on our, our lives, building our families, and trying to have a, uh, a decent, enjoying life. You know? But we're caught up in all these games and stuff that they play, and when they make life so difficult to live or survive, you know, it's just not the way to go. It's just not. If we could stay aware, if we could get our awareness level up and not be completely, like, unaware as we go through all these things, if we didn't just believe these things when we hear them, don't believe the stuff that you hear. If you see it, if you know it's true, that's one thing. But don't believe any of these reporters and stuff now and if you see it just be very um if you're seeing video of it just be very aware that there's a lot of um motivations for people to warp to uh outright lie and to uh, play a lot of games that we just don't we don't need to, we don't need to be on that earth. We want to go to a positive timeline earth. We want to go to, we want to manifest a reality that we can dwell within and be fine. Then a lot of things we, we're doing, we have to change. And we're going to have to be more aware. Not of just everything just aware of the manipulation that's going on so that we don't fall for it. Because if you fall for it and then you start to spread it, that's bad, man. It's really bad. We can, we can do it, but you know, we really do have to stay a lot more alert and aware and uh, open to information being a way that we don't know, we don't have access to. We're supposed to be going into the age of Aquarius, and the difference between the age of Aquarius and the other ages is that the key word is I know. When you have access, direct access to knowing, you don't have to think about something if you know it. If I knew how many pallets were up there, I wouldn't have to think about counting them or count them. I could just know and I could have the information. But that's a stage of our growth that is past the thinking stage. Our thinking mind and everything about our, our beingness of mind is coming from a uh, third density 3D situation. And mind in that state is never at ease. It's always desiring something and it's always in a state of trying to stave off the ultimate dissolution that comes at death. We don't want that, but it's not representative of the true state of your, uh, your knowing and your, and your self-awareness and the awareness that you can have whenever you're, um, individuated 
So take a crack at that. And then you'll really be doing humanity a service. Have a nice day.